everybody. Welcome to the One More Thing in AI podcast. I am your host, Ranjit Philip, and I write a newsletter on AI that focuses on news and analysis that business leaders and startup founders will find useful. Also, anyone interested in AI can read it. We have thousands of subscribers and we are hosted at one more thing in AI.com and on LinkedIn. Now, everybody is not interested in reading the newsletter, but some of you prefer to listen to it. So this is the podcast that is meant for those folks. I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, uh, I wish you a very happy and healthy new year. Thank you for subscribing to the One More Thing in AI podcast. This is specially curated for startup founders and business leaders like you who want to get smarter on AI in less than five minutes. Well, the year 2023 can be safely classified as the first year when the conversations around Gen AI entered our boardrooms. As we enter the second year of Gen AI, I look forward to bringing you more useful news and analysis that will boost your career and your business in 2024. So uh, I just hand over to my co-host, Jess, to take it forward from here. Hi, I am Jess, an AI podcast host for One More Thing in AI. Wish you a happy new year. In this episode, we will cover When GPT Met NYT, a copyright tale with a twist. New York Times sues open AI. Then we will speak about Apple's stealth move in AI, unveiling Ferret, the open-source multimodal marvel. After that, we have a quick summary on McKinsey's report on Gen AI. We will end by covering Tata Technologies and what they do with AI in the mobility industry. All right, let us start. When GPT met NYT, a copyright tale with a twist. The core issue, a copyright clash. The New York Times, NYT, has initiated a significant legal battle against OpenAI and Microsoft. The crux lies in the alleged unauthorized use of millions of NYT articles to train large language models, LLMs, like ChatGPT. This lawsuit, filed in Manhattan Federal Court, accuses the tech giants of leveraging the NYT's extensive journalistic work to develop competing information sources without proper authorization or compensation. The intricacies of the case. The lawsuit emphasizes the specific focus on NYT's content in the training datasets. It argues that using this content infringes copyright and creates direct competition, as the chatbots on Bing and OpenAI offer similar information services. The stakes, high financial and moral implications. The NYT seeks substantial reparations, citing billions of dollars in statutory and actual damages. The publication demands destroying any chatbot models and training data incorporating its copyrighted material. This case highlights the broader implications of data scraping and copyright in the AI industry, a concern echoed by other authors and artists in similar lawsuits. The fair use debate. OpenAI's defense hinges on the concept of fair use, arguing that their use of NYT content serves a transformative purpose. This argument is central to the ongoing debate about the boundaries of fair use in the context of AI and machine learning. It's a bit like saying, sure, I borrowed your car, but I painted it a different color so it's a whole new car, right? Negotiations and breakdowns. Before the lawsuit, the NYT negotiated with OpenAI and Microsoft for a licensing agreement, which ultimately fell through. This breakdown led to the current legal confrontation, underscoring the complexities of copyright law in the digital age. Concluding thoughts, this lawsuit challenges the boundaries of fair use and raises critical questions about AI training practices' ethical and legal implications. As the case unfolds, it will undoubtedly shape the future of AI development and intellectual property protection. The other, news outlets and original content creators will be watching these developments closely. Up next, Apple moves into AI. Apple's stealth move in AI, unveiling Ferret, the open-source multimodal marvel. Last October, in a move quieter than a cat burglar on tiptoe, Apple Inc., and Cornell University unveiled Ferret, an open-source, multimodal large-language model, LLM. Ferret isn't your average LLM, it's adept at handling text and images. It is multimodal, similar to Gemini, released by Google. Here's the magic. Ferret looks at a part of an image, identifies interesting bits, like a detective with a magnifying glass, and draws a virtual box around them. Then, it uses these elements to answer your questions. The implications are vast. 
Imagine a financial analyst getting insights from spreadsheets and graphs that Ferret can read, like a doctor receiving diagnostic help from medical reports and patient inputs. Apple's decision to make Ferret open source is like throwing a surprise party and inviting everyone, including its competitors. Considering Apple's current limitations in serving up LLMs at scale, this move could be a strategic play in the AI race. By sharing Ferret, Apple is essentially saying, let's make AI a team sport. This is very much in line with the moves made by Meta when they released their Llama model in open source. It's showing us a future where AI understands our world through words and images. Maybe, your iPhone will finally understand why you keep taking pictures of your lunch. Now let us talk about McKinsey's report on Gen AI. You can count on the big three, or is it the big five, consulting houses to come out with tomes on Gen AI, and McKinsey has joined the fray. The report is a decent read with a few BGOs, blinding glimpses of the obvious. I have summarized it in seven points. 1. Economic impact. Generative AI could add $2.6 to $4.4 trillion, annually, to the global economy, potentially doubling if integrated into the existing software stack, increasing the overall AI impact by 15 to 40 percent. 2. Key value areas, approximately 75% of generative AI's value lies in customer operations, marketing and sales, software engineering, and R&D, with diverse customer interaction, content creation, and code drafting applications. 3. Industry-wide influence, significant impacts are expected across all sectors, notably in banking, high-tech, and life sciences, with a potential annual value addition of $200 to $340 billion in banking alone. 4. Workplace automation. Generative AI could automate 60 to 70% of work activities, especially those involving natural language processing, more significantly affecting higher wage, knowledge based jobs. 5. Accelerated workforce transformation. With the rise of technical automation, it's estimated that half of today's work activities could be automated between 2030 and 2060 a decade earlier than previous predictions. 6. Productivity growth and worker support. Generative AI may boost labor productivity growth annually by 0.1 to 0.6 percent through 2040, necessitating investments in worker skill development and occupational transitions. 7. Emerging challenges. The nascent stage of generative AI is marked by enthusiasm and potential, but realizing its full benefits requires addressing challenges in risk management workforce skill development, and rethinking core business processes. The full report can be found at onemorethinginai.com. Look for the 12th edition of the newsletter. Now, let us end with a look at the automotive sector and Tata Technologies, which is a company based in India. Redefining mobility, the AI-powered revolution. Tata Technologies recently had a whopping IPO, and it was then I realized what an underappreciated gem of a company it is. Tata Technologies, once a humble. Automotive design unit of Tata Motors has flourished into a global leader in engineering, research, and development. The AI Influence, a new era of driving. Advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, powered by AI are making driving safer and more efficient. Features like object detection, lane keeping, and adaptive cruise control, once luxuries, are now becoming standard. Software-defined vehicles, the new frontier. Tata Technologies is at the forefront of developing software-defined vehicles, SDV. These vehicles are not just about transportation, they're about an experience. Personalized settings, intuitive communication, and advanced computing capabilities are turning cars into intelligent companions. Tata Technologies' client roster includes over 35 OEMs like McLaren, VinFast, and Honda. They assist these giants in transforming concepts into reality integrating AI to enhance performance, safety, and driver experience. Their showcase at the International Congress for Automotive Electronics in Germany was a testament to their expertise. Collaborations with Intel, Qualcomm, AWS, and XP, and ARM highlighted their ability to integrate various technologies seamlessly, enabling autonomous mobility. Tata Technologies is also playing a crucial role in developing autonomous technologies. They focus on advanced image processing and annotations, which are vital for navigating diverse and challenging road conditions, especially in countries like India. Takeaway. Tata Technologies' journey is very similar to what Tata Consultancy Services undertook in the late 1960s for international software giants like IBM and others. 
This could be a model that other companies in India can adopt to create a high-tech manufacturing hub as an alternative to China. All right, that is it from me for this edition of the One More Thing in AI podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to get the latest in AI and give us a rating if you liked this episode. I know that Renjit will appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you.